Hey, it's Anna. I have uh, a few specimens of Clytosabe nuda here that I want to show you. Uh, Clytosabe nuda is commonly called uh, the bluet mushroom. And uh, the reason I want to highlight these particular specimens for you is that the bluet mushroom is usually described as sort of a bluish purple color, uh, but very, very frequently when you find them, they're actually sort of this tan brown. Um, that especially is when they get a little bit larger. Uh, so I want to kind of, you know, point out some of the characteristics of it so that uh, when you find them and they are not in this sort of uh, beautiful blue purple condition, you can still uh, identify what you're looking at. So uh, bluet mushrooms are a classic cap and stem mushroom. They are uh, decomposers that grow on uh, wood mulch. You'll oftentimes, and one of the most distinguishing characteristics of the uh, species is this big chunk of mycelium that is at the base. Um, and oftentimes, like if you break it apart, you'll see that the mycelium is actually kind of uh, a little bit bluish colored, oftentimes in, um, again, younger specimens, that's a lot more distinct. Uh, but you know, very frequently you unearth these and they just get this little foot of uh, mycelium and um, whatever it is they're growing in at the base. Uh, so they do favor leaves. I often find them in uh, deciduous, you know, piles. Um, and uh, then additionally, you know, they're sort of a classic fat cat and, cap and stem affair. Uh, one of the features that you'll often see is this sort of like darker uh, rim around the edge. And that's oftentimes when the mushroom's getting a little older, a little wetter. Um, you have, um, you know, sort of tightly packed gills, no real, uh, you know, features on the stem except for some streakiness. I'll see if I can find one that's a little bit better. So there's a, a bit of streaky here. Sometimes again, in the blue purple ones, is far more uh, noticeable and distinct. Um, so, you know, when you find them and they're kind of in this shape um, and you're not entirely sure what they are, you can take a spore print. I don't spore print mushrooms all that frequently. Um, and the reason for that is really commonly I'll find a mushroom and it's growing, you know, one on top of the other. And so I can see actual spore material. But in this case, I just wanted to, um, you know, take a spore print so I could show it to you. So uh, this is about 12 hours after collecting the mushroom. It's a little bit difficult to see. So it's a whitish spore print, but there's also areas of it here and here that are a little more in the uh, pink sort of lilac neighborhood. And that is, um, you know, the, the spore color for uh, Clytosabe nuda. So uh, from an edibility perspective, uh, some people really like to eat bluets. I don't find them to be objectionable. They're not my favorite. Um, they are fleshy, a little bit on the rubbery side. Uh, but, you know, they can be prepared and be totally delightful, but they aren't my favorite. Uh, that said, you'll find them really commonly in cooler weather. So, you know, they're kind of abundant and interesting to find. So, um, again, Clytosabe nuda, they're not always blue purple. They're oftentimes much more uh, brown fawn colored. And uh, so, you know, occasionally you have to look a little bit closer uh, to their spores and other features to tell what you have on your hands.